Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. So in today's episode, we are going to make uh, the actual display of our cooldown and yeah, let's get started. Let's first uh, create a new event in here and let's call this abilities cooldown. And then let's go into our abilities here client and let's uh, get the, the um, event here first so let's copy this and instead of keybinds event it's abilities cool down um event then events dot abilities cooldown then let's go down here right at the bottom so abilities uh cooldown event dot on client event connect function And then uh, let's say we want the uh, ability, so like our number, then how long, so time, uh, spell it with a capital T or else it's, you know, time is already kind of a declared um, thing in Roblox Studio, so just spell it up, uh, with, uh, with an uppercase T. Um, yeah, ability time, and I don't think we need really more. Then, <clears throat> let's, um, yeah, let's just go into the ability we created uh, last episode. Was it? No, it was two episodes ago. Um, let's go into that here. Bim, bim, bim. Then here we can just uh, also get that event. So I'm also again gonna call it ability school down event here, and then ability school down, then ability ability school down event, um, and then do that here, and then hire client. Then we have to pass the player through. Let's do. Um, local uh, player equals to let's declare the player service so local players equals to game with service players and then local play equals to players get player from character and then character and then if character then put this in there so, uh, one thing, before I forget it, uh, so let's call it settings, um, logo cool down timer, let's do 5 seconds, then replace this with our cooldown timer, and in here, let's first of all pass through the player, then the uh, slot ability is in, actually, uh, Okay, right now let's just yeah let's do it with the script dot name and then the cooldown time. Uh, we could technically later on make all of this like again put it in maybe next episode put it in like a table we have here. That's uh, that, so it's more organized and stuff, but. Right now, let's just keep it simple like this. Um, and then um, let's go into, or maybe let's actually, uh, so in our ability server, we can just recall this to like um, slot number. Um, and then we can pass through the slot number here uh, then let's go into the usability. Then slot number. And then let's put it after the character. And then in our ceiling spell, we can receive the slot number here. And instead of doing script.name, we can just do slot number. And yeah, then we can just go into here. 
Then let's do uh, so. Uh, what did we call this frame again? I should have named it better. Okay, it's abilities UI frame, I think. Yeah, it should be. Um, abilities UI frame dot or not dot, but those square brackets. Then uh, ability. Um, then where do I have it here? Then dot label dot bar. That is our bar that I already added to this. If you don't have it, you probably don't have the newest version of this. I mean, it, the newest version is already like months ago, um, but I updated it like some time. But yeah. Um, dot bar, and we now just basically want to tween this bar. But first, let's make it visible. Or before that, let's change its size. So, uh, I actually have to see how big I want to make it. Probably like, uh, like this. I don't want to make it fill the hole. Uh, oh. Mm. Yeah, like this. Then I'm just gonna... Okay, that is kind of unsatisfying. Okay, yeah, like this. So, just at its maximum size. Um, and then... So, uh, dot size, bar dot size, equals to vector 3, and uh, not vector 3. Helium i2 dot new. And then I can just paste this in. Remove the squarely brackets. Boom. Uh, now can we can just simply tween it. Okay, I don't have tween servers to find here yet. So let's get tween servers. Local TS equals gangwood service tween servers. Then whoop, tween servers create. Then the abilities you are frame did everything here. Uh yep, paste this in here. Then I'm not gonna be using any tuning style or anything. Just uh tween in for that new time. And then square uh, not square brackets, squarely brackets, then size, then equals to let's copy this. Paste it in here, replace it for zero and play. And now it should uh, okay we can actually wait 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 a local bean you can see that then let's go to the back um put this one line down and then just between the play because then we can also just say bean dot completed uh, connect function. Boom, bar visible then. And yeah. Okay, finally. Um, so, if I use stability, you can see, okay, maybe we, we can put it over that. But we can see it's going, it's, yeah, it's working. Uh, and we can definitely improve the story, the UI. Let me just, uh, Grab it, make it here again, so we can see it better. Um, mm, 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 mm. Then let's put it over everything, so the text is also 5, Then so the bar should be 6, so it's over the text too. And we can, I think, make it more transparent, I think that uh, it should look better, maybe. Oh, not sure. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at mm, dot fear. Zero dot fear. Then I can just let me just replace it for everything. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay, maybe I should have made it smaller before doing that, but uh, yeah. Zero, zero, one, zero, 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 okay, um, yeah,
Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat for now. Uh, I mean, you can of course improve it. If you want it, you can change it, however. Um, but I think that's fine for me. And what we can do is... I mean, I now I have actually two ideas. Uh, one idea is now making uh, this like a universal uh, stat thing again, like for our weapons, that we don't have to go into every single script and change the cooldown if we want to change the cooldown. No, I don't want to ask the AI anything. And then that we can make this kind of better. Like, let's say you have an ability that resets all cooldowns, that we can also just stop this and stuff. That will be like two other episode ideas. But this was it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching and have a great, great day. Bye.